Coincidences often make us think. Sometimes they make us wonder if they are a part of some grander scheme. Let's not get too carried away or philosophical right now and discuss at the end of today's video. 10 Amazing Coincidences in Cricket Before the video starts, press the subscribe button and the bell icon. You know the drill. Did this call seem like a coincidence from the previous video that we uploaded? That's because you haven't subscribed to our channel yet. Do it and let's get on with this list. Number 10. Sachin and Gail 200 on the same date Sachin Tendulkar was the first batsman to hit a double century in ODIs and he did that on the 24th of February 2010. Exactly 5 years later, on the exact same date, 24th of February, Chris Gale became the first non-Indian to hit a double century in ODIs and also became the first batsman to score a century in the World Cup. Number 9. The Story of 200s and 153s Once again, we are going to talk about the 200s. Indians have crossed the individual score of 200 four times. That is Sachin's 200 not out, Sehwag's 219, Rohit's 209 and 264. Here come the coincidences. On three out of the four occasions, India went on to win the match exactly by 153 runs. The only occasion when the theory failed was when Rohit hit 209 against Australia in Bengaluru, which they won by 57 runs. Number 8. Alex Stewart Birth Connection Alex Stewart can be termed as one of the most influential English wicketkeepers. He was born on 8th of April 1963 or 8463 which weirdly was exactly the number of runs he raked up in his ODI career, which was 8,463 runs. Number 7. Sachin Tendulkar is equal to Michael Clarke plus Alistair Cook Once, there was an incident when the total number of matches, runs and hundreds of Sachin were equal to the sum of Alistair Cook and Michael Clarke. It was a brilliant graphic and we have to thank Star Sports statisticians to have seen this and shown it in such a graphic. Number 6. Raina May 2nd Connection Raina is the first Indian to score a T20 ton and he achieved it on May 2nd, 2010. Raina is considered as a T20 specialist and we were waiting for Raina to hit a century in the IPL as well and he did exactly three years later on the very same date, May 2nd, 2013. In both the matches, his team won. He was named the man of the match. That's not a biggie. But the next coincidence is that in both the matches, his team's total was exactly 186. Wow! Number 5. Ishan Sharma's Unsafe Hands Ishant Sharma is in a way responsible for all the three highest test scores made by a batsman against India in the 21st century. Alistair Cook, 294 runs. Ed Baston, 2011. Michael Clarke, 329, not out. Sydney, 2012. Brendan McCullum, 302 runs. Wellington, 2014. They were all dropped by Ishant Sharma early on in their innings. Number 4. Richard Stokes and the Power of 10 Richard Stokes isn't a player but a cricket lover and a viewer. In 1956, he was 10 and he was taken by his father to see Ashes and he witnessed Jim Laker take all the 10 wickets in an innings. Cut to 42 years later, when he came on a business trip to India, he ended up going for an India-Pakistan test match. Here, he witnessed Anil Kumble take all the 10 Pakistani wickets in an innings. Richard Stokes has gone and watched a match only twice in his career till then. After which, many tried to use his luck and called him to see the match, but in vain. Number 3. The Same Result What is now recognised as the first test of all, the match between Australia and England in Melbourne in March 1877, ended in a victory for the home side by 45 runs. 100 years later, a special centenary test was staged in Melbourne to mark the occasion and Australia won an exciting encounter by 45 runs again. Freaky! Number 2. Dhoni's 5th Test Connection 
Dhoni's first test and ODI hundreds both came in his fifth match. Both scores were 148 and both were scored against Pakistan. Cool coincidence indeed for Captain Cool. Number 1. Lucky Charm Sachin Tendulkar is hailed as the best batsman of his era. Three of his most spectacular innings and also his highest scores in ODI cricket have been 200 not out, 186 not out and 175. On all the three occasions, there was one man who was there to witness the greatest knocks from Sachin. It wasn't any spectator, neither was it any player. But it was the umpire, Shavir Tarapur. Shavir Tarapur was the match official on all the three occasions. Now that is quite some coincidence on the field. What do you think of this video? Please do let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Press the like button, share it with everyone you know who is crazy about cricket. And stay tuned to Simbri Chuma as we are going to be coming up with a second video on the coincidences in cricket.